this clash really going to impact the ground realities. What we've done today on our election wall in partnership with Neta app, right through this election season, we will give you answers to all these questions on the basis of real-time data. There was a straight question that we had put up in partnership with Neta app, which of these two initiatives, Mission Shakti and Nyaya scheme, what is it that's really working on the minds of Indian citizens? And look at the answer, 61% believe it's Nyaya. What that effectively tells you is that while an attempt is clearly being made to inject a certain dose of nationalism, a certain dose of patriotism, and to ensure that national security post the April strikes, post Pulwama terror strikes, national security ends up becoming the biggest talking point, Mission Shakti also being included in that agenda, that 39% versus 61% aggregated number across India tells you it's still the story of economy, it's still the wallet and not the space which is on top of the minds for Indian citizens. We've actually done a whole state-wise analysis as well. I'm looking at key states which were responsible for bringing Narendra Modi to power in 2014. And I want to look at the impact of what has happened today over these last eight hours since the Prime Minister addressed the nation. How did, how did public sentiment actually change in favor of the BJP or against the BJP? First, the big states, look at the state of UP, the BJP had got 71 out of those 80 seats. What is the, what is the public sentiment there? According to the Neta app, it gives you, it gives you a very interesting figure. 41% in the big state of UP, which gave the BJP 71 seats in 2014, gave the BJP 40% plus vote again in 2017 in the assembly elections, the third biggest victory in the history of independent India, and look at those figures. 59% people suggesting it's the Nyai scheme which matters to them more. Let's look at Bihar, the BJP in alliance with the Janta Dal United there. 22 out of those 40 seats going to the BJP. How does the comparison work there? Nyai versus Vishen Shakti, 63%. So the story of UP being reflected in the neighboring state of Bihar as well. Let's go west. Let's look at Maharashtra. Again, a state which was completely swept by the BJP Shiv Sena Alliance. BJP on its own got 23 out of those 48 seats. On the first day when the Prime Minister has made this announcement, 40% Mission Shakti, 60% public sentiment in the state of Maharashtra with the Nyaya scheme. West Bengal, Mamta Didi's territory. What's the reality there? Two out of those 42 seats, 17% vote share for the BJP, a state where the BJP hopes to make big dent in Mamta's territory, 43% Vishit Shakti, 57% Nyaya scheme. What this tells you is this, that this number of 43, for instance, that you're looking at West Bengal, it's only on the first day. On first day, 43%, could this 43% end up rising to 60% by the time the Prime Minister starts hitting the campaign trail? He starts with this campaign tomorrow. That's the probability that the Bharatiya Janata Party is working on. That's why this Mission Shakti could well end up becoming a big, big talking point for the BJP on the road to 2019. Just take a look at how the politicians have been sparring. Rahul Gandhi using another cheeky adjective to describe Mission Shakti and Arun Jaitley giving it back to Rahul Gandhi.